Thanks, Lee, for being Thanks, here from thank Supercar you. Advocates. We've You're got cool. some lo lovely sponsors here. Rock and uh, Lee, thank you for being around and being our MC. Your little Ferrari. My grandfather's. Your grandfather's, yeah. It's fantastic. Isn't it? Thank you. The Sicilian Association of Canberra is selling Sicilian cannoli from Baba and Sicilian custard donuts. Treat yourself to an authentic Sicilian sweet. That's the uh, Di Bartolo cannoli. So tell me about your car. Well, it's uh, 97 years old, um, just a bit older than me, and probably in about the same condition. <laughs> well, your seats are in good condition, aren't they? Well, they're basically waterproof because it rained last night and I got a wet seat this morning. So what do you do when it rains? Hmm? What do you do when it rains? Don't stop. If you so, keep going, yeah. you don't get wet below, below there. If you stop, you get drowned. So why don't you put a top on it? Never had a top. Never, Never had meant a to have a top. Not necessary? No. no. This is when men were men. Four years to do. Four years. Yeah. And uh, everything was prepared, everything from scratch. And what is it? Uh, your Fiat 500 Topolino B. So you're gonna you're gonna pass it on to your grandson? Uh, I don't know. Depends. Uh, is he <laughs> is he a good driver? I'm not I I got ten. <laughs> Too many grandchildren. Ten. You got ten. So who's gonna who would possibly get it? <laughs> who loves the car? They all like it. Yeah. It's special, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. What about your granddad? Is he special? Yeah, just as special as the car. <laughs> like the car? Yeah. Yeah, he looks good too. Your granddad? How old are you? Me. Yeah. 72. 72, aren't he? Oh, I'm older than you. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have a car like this. This is beautiful. He's messed all my hair up. My wife, my oh, this is your wife. Hi. Yeah, my ears looking good, man. Oh, oh, you look beautiful. Terrible. Come on, you look. You're just like the car. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> oh gosh. So how long have you been working on this one? The car's four years. How long this one? <laughs> Sixty years. How, how long have we been Fifty years. Nearly fifty. Fifty years. 50 years. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Yeah. And how many grandchildren have you got? We've got ten. four children and ten grandchildren. <laughs> You're very lucky. And grandchild, grandchild, grandchild. Grandchild, oh, that's great. They're, they're, they're two twins, brothers, twins. They're twins. Oh, yeah, twins. Twins, two brothers. Get together, come on boys, that's it. How come you got different colours? <laughs> huh? Try not to look the same, you know, try not to match. <laughs> they beautiful. don't like to dress the same when they get older. Yeah. Only when they're little, the mums do that. Yeah, mums do that. But when they get older, <laughs> because I've got twin girls too, <laughs> when they get older, they don't want to be dressed the same. 
funny, isn't it? Isn't it? And what car have you got? What have you got? Me, I have an Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo, and what about your brother? Um, he's got a, he's got a Ute. What kind? Alfa? Uh, no, no, it's not Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. So they it comes buy, out, does it? The Italian comes what out. They can afford, you know. Slowly, but, slowly start getting you know collection. What? The, the Italians really in them all. All our grandkids, yeah. They like Italian songs. They like Italian dancing. You're going to give me Italian some Italian dancing? Come on. No, no. no come on. <laughs> come on, I'll dance. I'm a Greek. I'll dance Greek. Um, That's uh, Topolino means mini. That's Topolino means mini mouse. the Italian one. Oh, this is beautiful inside, isn't it? Show me inside, it's beautiful. You forget the insides, huh? So how does this one compare? Yeah, which one do you like better? How do you like that one better? So when you picked it up, was it in good condition? It was right. It was right. It was ready to see, but uh, it was right. But the, the wheel was more designed. It was more original. The water thing was more original. That's why I had to go there. Exceptionally beautiful. Do you love it? It's beautiful, isn't it? The south of Italy rather than the north of Italy? So that's north, Okay, I'm just going to have to have a traditional. Two traditional. Not Italiana, you're going to be here. No, no. Italiana. So, what did you do the shows? Trust you to be the Canola. Five or more. Yeah. Bellissimo. Hey, beautiful. What's beautiful in Italian? Bellissimo. 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 How do they compare with other Italian? You can't compare.
you about today? It is a great, uh, great event, isn't it? <laughs> great to see all these exotic cars and the people that put them together. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
out the right um, in certain circumstances it is. But she can be a bit of a bitch. So you did a lot of work on it, huh? Uh, well, it's three years mechanical rebuild yeah, yeah. and six years bodywork and interior. And so it spent, unfortunately, I guess most of its time off the road. Uh, the Dante Music of Eva Choir, um, been going about 16 years, formed by uh, members of the Dante Alighieri Society. Uh, generally, uh, at conversation classes, the idea sort of took shape. And, uh, and we've been singing ever since. 16 years. Why? And uh, why? Yeah. Well, uh, for a number of reasons. Um, uh, a lot of them, some of them uh, wanted to improve their pronunciation of Italian. Uh, some of them wanted to learn more about Italian culture. And uh, this is part of Italian culture. And, uh, and a lot of them just love singing Italian songs. And, uh, and they became uh, very friendly. I mean, they, they love singing together. And they love getting together. and. Uh, so, uh, so there you go. <laughs> it's very multicultural, isn't it? It that's is multicultural, yeah. and that's why we're part of the multicultural society in town, and that's where we that's where we practice. And for the next award is the Alfa Romeo. Can we get the owner to come to the car? Congratulations. Well done, Michael. Michael. Congratulations, Michael. Tell us something quickly about this car. Last four months we've been pushed to take the car here and I've had great help to learn. Excuse me, I can't Thanks Michael, thank you. Congratulations. Lee, we originally said there's going to be three of the top. Um, unfortunately, I'm the chief judge I'm also Italian, but my Italian is so terrible, I said uno, due, tre, and they didn't hear quite full. So we've got four, uh, as you're going through, the judges will pick the fourth one as well. So the owner of the Griffo, come on over to me and collect your bottle, gold bottle. Champagne. Make your way over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Congratulations. Thank well you done. Very much. It's very kind. Absolutely. Thank you. I've owned it 21 years and done over 100,000 kilometres in it. So I drive it and enjoy it. This must be the best looking 100,000 kilometre car I've ever seen in my life. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, I just love it and enjoy it. We did nearly a thousand kilometres coming here because we just went the long way around. It spent all its life in Sydney, but through the, the ownerships, and I think I'm the fourth owner from memory, it was for some reason painted red. Um, I guess it was easier to sell a red car. I can't conceive of putting red over that colour, mind you. It's the ambassador for Italy, uh, well, you Australia, want, you want and I might just hand over to her now. Thank you, Excellency. Hello. Good morning, everyone. And I'm so glad to be here today. This fantastic show that brings together the best of the great genius, Italian genius in automotive industry. So thank you for to the to the owners first of all of these wonderful cars, but thank you to the people, all of you, who did take the time to come here despite the chilly weather. But it's a nice day, isn't it? Anyway, we can stay outside. We can enjoy this wonderful uh, exhibition. Da, 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 da. Now my choice. I have picked up La 850, 850 PC about Nurburg Ring. You want to know why? Because it has the suicide doors. And it's a car that is much older than me and is still working. So congratulations to the owner of this car. I've been to a very, very long time supporter of Otto Italia, John De Rocco from the Italian Made Car Social Club, who comes down every year through thick and thin. And we like coming down here through thick and thin too. So thanks guys, thank you all the organisers, thanks for all the, uh, the dignitaries that are here.
and thanks for everyone supporting the right thing. Beautiful. Thank you. I uh, have picked the best one out of the four that's in just in front of everybody and behind you. And uh, we have a winner, Lamborghini Mura. William Zircon, please come up. Best of show today. William, well deserved. I'll hold the for you to get some of this say something Well, these things are all about the car, I have to say. We're custodians of these things, as we all know. You often hear that said, and it's true. But in this particular case, it's also about this team of guys, I don't know where they are, Tim and Andy here. Um, this team of guys in Barra that took this old girl of mine that I've had for a long time, and worked their magic on them over about three years or so. I did, the, I did the fun bits, I looked and found all the original bits and pieces and worked out what we needed to do here and there. And I thoroughly enjoyed the journey. And it's really nice to have this original right-hand drive car that was delivered to Sydney that still lives in Sydney, but is still in Australia, hasn't left this country. And if I'd listened to my parents and friends over the years, I would have sold it long ago. And it's nice to have finally done it justice to do all of this work in that car, really secure it for posterity, and it's a, it's a total superstar. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much, William. And uh, just wanted to say a little bit about why that car did win. All the honorary judges here are also club presidents. And club presidents, we at Auto Italia decided, Tony, the chairman, uh, as we have anointed you that you are the ambassadors of the brand in Australia. So as you guys are the ambassadors, you come up every year, you do all this work. So although you're the club, club presidents, we'd like you to choose out of all this. Now, of course, I'm the ambassador for Lamborghini and I picked the Lamborghini, but that's not really how you do it. You pick anything you like as an ambassador. And thank you very much. Now, there are a couple more prizes there. Uh, Ian, Campbell. We have another prize, uh, and Sorry, it's a bit like the Ambassador's Thank Choice. Um, <laughs> it's given to a car of particular note. It can be um, either, as long as it's an Italian car, it's named after uh, a former president of Auto Italia for many years who died quite young in, in tragic circumstances. So to honour uh, Ian, we have the Ian Campbell Memorial Trophy that's uh, chosen every year, and do we have a name? Quite a thing. The winner? Quite a thing, yeah. Because you don't drive it, are you? No, no, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Sort of one of its kind. And I think it's uh, well deserved being a memorial. Coming here, we always take the long way in the ESO Griffo, and I've done well over 100,000 kilometres in that car in the last 21 years. So this trophy goes to my dad as well, who's still around and happy and healthy, but he and I restored it and we enjoyed it together. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tony's right. So Colin, your car is beautifully uh, restored. It is a bit of a barn find. Uh, you've done it justice. And I think the reason Raider really likes it is you actually race it. You take it out on the track. It's not just a show pony. So congratulations, Colin Wilson Brown. While the judges are going through, may I take this opportunity um, to do a few more thank yous. Um, I just should say too, that please remember that Auto Italia is a non-profit organisation. Any money we make, it goes into next year's event. The judges who uh, have been judging cars since about 9.30 this morning do it free of charge. They don't charge us anything. And so they take time out of their own life to come and help us run this event. On top of that, um, this event would not take place if it wasn't for the Auto Italia Organising Committee. There are six people who we will start meeting probably in about two weeks' time and we'll be on him over or back pretty quickly, I should think, about next year's event.
but we'll start working towards uh, next year's event. So, when, while I've got the, the microphone, may I again thank uh, Her Excellency, Nicholas Carte, representatives of the Italian government, which means so much to us because it gives us, uh, I think, our event a lot more authenticity. I thank Tim uh, and uh, Mikhail, uh, the Mayor and Deputy Mayor of uh, Queensland, and I hope to be working with them again for next year's event. But most of all, I'd like to thank the spectators for um, coming and uh, enjoying our cars. Thank you very much. Italian uh, genius about uh, in the automotive sector there is here in Quimbian and more broadly in Australia and how much how many people do love this and a perfect opportunity to get together after so many months of difficult times uh, for all uh, so definitely a great experience I'm grateful to be here grateful that I could pick up my favorite car and uh, count on me for next year too uh, the one word that's missing is passion passion, Italian passion. Okay. So, should I do it again? Tell me about Italian passion. Well, uh, you know, we, we discuss very often about the Italian way of living, Italian way of doing, and uh, it's a mix. It's a mix of uh, genius, it's a mix of beauty, it's a mix of culture, and it's a mix of passion. We put our heart on everything that we do, and it's fantastic to have this here in Australia, particularly in Quimbian, where there is a huge Italian community. Uh, it's the, uh, Australia is the right place for this type of, uh, you know, activities where all different communities are always welcome, perfectly integrated, and they can live their tradition in the modernity of Australia. And, and it's infectious. It's pretty. Oh yeah. It's, yes. it's only a comment I'd add to it's it. Wonderful. It's a wonderful. It's uh, a wonderful. You can see. You can see from people. They are so happy today. And I'm. I'm, I'm really glad to, to have been part of this. Thank you so much. Bye. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>